Okay, in this video we're going to go through the process of creating a rubric so we can grade within Blackboard. So under our control panel in Course Tools, we're going to go to Rubrics. And we're going to get, begin by hitting the Create Rubric button. And we're going to give our rubric a name. And to begin with, we have a 3x3 three three table, uh, and we're going to start by customizing that first. Uh, we're going to be moving a rubric that we use with Word into Blackboard, so we can use it for grading. And so we need to add an additional row and an additional column. So we're going to begin by adding a column, and we're going to go ahead and name that. And now we're going to go ahead and add a row. Okay. And we are going to copy and paste over our criteria. And we're just doing copying and pasting here. Okay. Now we've set up our levels of achievement and our criteria, so the next thing is to start moving over the content of our rubric. And again, this is just going to be a lot of copying and pasting.
Okay, now that we've got the uh, contents of our rubric copied over, we can, uh, by default, Blackboard's going to give you a, per a percentage, so grade by percent, uh, but I'm going to switch this over to points. You could also do a point range if you want. Okay, so my rubric is going to be worth 20 points, so that would be 5 points for images, or for uh, the look number of slides, five points for uh, images, five points for background, and five points for uh, creativity and design. And then I get to decide how I want to split up the in-between pieces. Um, so I'm going to fill in those. Okay, now that we have our point value set and all our content is done, all we need to do is hit submit. And we have created our rubric. In another video, we will look at how to associate that rubric with an assignment. And in a separate video, we'll look at how to then use this rubric to grade an assignment.